So I just recently got asked to fix a friend's computer, and if it's not exactly broken, they generally want me to speed it up. There are really two easy ways to fix 99% of computer problems on your Windows-based PC. I'm going to talk about the methodology used for both of them so that you can fix your computer or speed up a friend's. So the first method I like to call remove. Now this seems pretty obvious, but the goal is to remove anything malicious on your computer, whether that's malware, spyware, viruses, etc. Now this may seem obvious, but what's not so obvious is that this is actually the lesser of the two steps I'll be talking about, and generally this step is fully automated. To remove any malicious content from your computer, there are a multitude of programs that you can use. I personally prefer to use a combination of R-Kill and Anti-Malware Bytes to remove things that I work on. However, you can use whatever you'd like. I generally recommend to look into what you're doing and do a little bit of research on the programs that you'll be using. Things that have good reviews and good ratings are generally pretty good to use. I personally would stay away from things like Norton and McAfee because not only do they cost money, but they actually generally don't do any better and sometimes a little worse than the free alternatives. For 90% of the computers that I work on, I simply download Malwarebytes, run a scan, and it finds almost everything. Okay, now time for step two, what I like to call reduce. Now this step has far more of a perceived impact on the speed of your PC than step one. But what do I mean? The goal is to reduce the amount of work that your computer has to do. Most of the time people don't think they have a problem with their computer until something breaks, something slows down, or if it completely stops running because it is so slow. This step does more to address that than step one, but don't be fooled, step one is indeed important. So how do you do it? Well, first and foremost is to uninstall unneeded and unwanted programs. Most of the time when your computer is being bogged down, you can look at the program list and find dozens of add-ons, free trial software, and other software that you don't quite remember installing. If the publisher is not Microsoft, Intel, or Nvidia, you are probably safe to remove it. Okay, so what else can you do? Next is Windows Startup. Windows Startup is an area in Windows that lists all of the applications that turn on when your computer does. These programs are always running in the background, slowing down your machine, and often not providing very much benefit. You can very quickly sort by the startup impact of all the programs, right click, and disable any that you do not want. Now, do not be fooled. Disabling this does not impact the actual ability of the program to run. For instance, I have Spotify, Slack, and Discord all disabled on startup. All that means is that they're not booting up when the computer does. If I actually open the application, they work just fine. But this way, if I don't open them, they're not bogging down my computer with their background services. You can safely turn off everything in this area. However, I personally recommend keeping things that you use every time you turn on your computer. I personally keep my webcam, speakers, and mouse software enabled so that I do not have to turn those on. Finally is services and MS config. This area shows all of the services that run on your computer in the background. You can instantly hide Windows services and reveal all of the applications that are running in the background, not necessarily on startup, but just in general. You can usually find a few nonsense services by opening MS Config, hiding all Microsoft services, and removing anything that you know you do not need. And that's it. I used to work in IT and for almost all the computers I got, I would follow these two simple steps and then return the PC to a very happy customer. Removing malware and other viruses is really important, especially if you have a lot of it. But generally, the whole process is automated and it really only takes a few clicks to get it up and going. In addition, taking steps to speed up your PC has a huge impact on how the PC feels. Malwarebytes can remove lots of malicious content but it'll do nothing to help you against the thousands of add-ons, free trial software, and other bloatware that's been on your computer running in the background for years. Anyways, if you guys liked the video, please hit that like button, and if you guys wanna see more videos from me, hit that subscribe button. Later, guys.